Hello, I'm Rebecca Dane, and I'm a paramedic with Mount Vernon Fire Department, and today we're gonna go on a tour of our ambulance. Hello, this is the cab of the ambulance, and we're starting here because we have to get inside here to drive to the call. The first thing we do when we get in is we put on our seatbelt and our hearing protection so that we don't hurt our ears. Next thing we do is we turn on the lights and sirens and we drive to the call. Once we're ready to go to the call, we tell the 911 dispatcher that we're going. Cascade from 129, 129's in route. Now let's head into the back. If someone from your house calls 911, most times a fire engine and an ambulance will come. Usually there's two people on the fire engine and there's two people on the ambulance. So four people could be walking into your house and it might seem a little overwhelming, but all of us are there to help you. If we have to take you or one of your family members to the hospital, we do a lot of the same things that you would get done at the doctor's office, like taking your temperature. Open wide and raise your tongue. Okay. No fever, good job. I throw it away in my garbage and then we'll listen to your heart. Do you recognize this, a stethoscope? Goes in your ears. And then we can listen to your heart and your lungs. Also on the way to the hospital, we have to let the doctors and nurses know that we're coming. We don't use paper anymore, we use computers. And we put your name and your date of birth into our computer and then we call the hospital and we let them know you're coming. So then they'll be all ready with a bed waiting when we get there. Thank you so much for coming on our ambulance tour today. It's been lots of fun. And remember, if you ever have to call 911, don't be afraid, we're here to help.